Okay, so last up we have Uncharted Golden Abyss. Let's see what we got here. Alright, network features have been disabled. Interesting. Might be one of those things you'll have to wait until the system has been widely distributed next week to really get into. So, again, we're probably looking at some of the perils of being an early adapter, <laughs> so to speak. So, let's see what we got. Recognize the music, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to a little bit. So, I'm going to start a new game. Oh, and it wants you to touch. It really, really wants you to touch. So, yeah, we're going to start a new campaign. And this is probably why this is going to be the killer app to have once this comes out. If you are an Uncharted player and been playing this since the beginning, Sony looked like they went through great pains to make sure that when Ben Studios did this game to do it right for the Vita. For the quote by Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. And this game just looks damn it good. Dante, I got a report that shots were fired by the Ripper. It was nothing. I'm telling you, it was Drake. You tell your men to up their game, or there's going to be a lot less of them around come payday. Son of a bitch. I'll see you in hell. Oh, yeah, and there's some cursing. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Some nice little tips on how to get your way through the game. Um, opening the journal, taking photographs, things of that sort. And as you can see, Nate's carrying a backpack. Light sourcing is really good on here. Okay. Alright. Go away, tutorial. <laughs> Gotta get up there. Of course, that's easier said than done. Classic climbing. So of course you get to use this six axis uh, controls in this also. So yeah, if you want to reach stuff, you know, tilt it so that way you can go wherever you need to go. So they, they really incorporated a lot from the PSP, excuse me, from the, from the PS3 control scheme into the Vita. Well. Use these to climb and shimmy. So I can help Nate climb up. This is really cool. Okay, well maybe I gotta go with the multiplier and go in there. Okay. Drake's been spotted in the upper chamber. 
Kill him on sight. Dante's orders. One of Dante's mercenaries. Bastards. So we've got the option for a stealth kill. We just come up. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Once you get some directions on how to fire and all that good stuff. So, let's see. And yes, I'm not going to be doing better, but look, guys, <laughs> I'm just getting started on this. So, guess what? At this point, I'm going to end it here. You don't get to see anymore. But, suffice to say, this is kind of what you want out of a game. You know, you got some touch controls. Um, it looks as good as something that you'll find on the PS3. This is, this is what you want. So, matter of fact, let me do one last thing. I'm going to put this down for the, for the time being. And I just want to show you real quick the carrying case that comes with it. It's really nice. Um, you have slots to put your games in up to four games. You have an area to put your uh, adapter, plugs and other miscellaneous stuff, headphones. And then of course space for you to put your Vita in. So, or you could probably put your Vita in here and put all your carry-ons here. So, really nice solid constructed case. Um, I thought they would have probably just given you something flimsy, kind of like what they gave you with the PSP when we got the uh, PSP all those years ago. Remember, you got the PSP, you got the nice little piece of styrofoam, and that was it. No, they gave you a really good sturdy case for the Vita.